It's Christmas in July, or whenever you're watching this. I'm just too impatient to wait to December to open this thing. I also celebrate Hanukkah, so we need like eight nights of dinos, am I right? Hello, and welcome to Thirsty Thursday Toys. Today, we're gonna plow through the Jurassic World Dominion Minis Advent Calendar. Now, since this is a non-Thursday video, I don't have a recipe for you, but I did mix up a drink. This is a recipe made by a friend of mine, Brandon, from the Martini Shot. He calls this one the Amber Egg. It's absolutely delicious. I actually started drinking it before I was filming. This is actually from our collaboration a little while back, so if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. But here we go, let's look at some minis. I pre-ordered this calendar from deepdiscount.com. The pre-order was like 32 bucks, but now that it's in stock, it seems to have gone up to like 37 bucks. I think it's also available from Entertainment Earth, at least as of the recording of this video. It might pop up other places, time will tell. According to the promo images for it, this calendar has a mix of new, undersized figures, already released figures from the blind boxes, and some fence pieces. Now, if you want to keep all the little windows intact, you can just open it up from the side and pull the plastic tray out. Now, this calendar does that thing where all the days are all mixed up, so it's like one, two, and then three is somewhere here, four, five, and kind of jumps around. So I'm just going to open up each door one by one. This did get a little smushed uh, in transit, and some of these are already kind of popping open. I don't care about the packaging. So we'll go one by one and uh, see what we get. Now I'm assuming these big windows have the fence pieces, and these smaller windows have, you know, the mini dinos. So here's door one. Ceratosaurus. Okay, so new undersized in that squishier rubber. We'll get a closer look at each of these. It does not have the articulation. Day two, up in the corner here, maybe. And they all look a little person. There we go. Get a closer look at you later. Day three. Dimetrodon, yes. Looking forward to this one. Ah, oh, looks so good. Day four, over here. Raptor. Oh, looks like your leg got a little squished. Yeah, these are going to be really hard. These and like the Gallimimuses? Gallim... Gallim... What's the plural of Gallimimus? Those cannot stand worth beans. Um, should come with stands. Five is right down here. Sucumimus. Oh, looks like it does still have uh, jaw articulation. Interesting. Six over here. Oh, looks like the same Pteranodon as the blind boxes. Seven right down here. Same... Blind box stego. Eight over here. Ooh, Anki. Oh, it's a little smaller. Nice and no um, articulation. All right, nine. We get our first fence piece, I assume. Yeah, oh, many fence pieces. All right, cool. They got the little T Rex logo on there. So one, two, three, four. That's not bad for a day. These all clip together. Kind of. Oh. Nice, okay. Look at those in a little bit. Ten off in this corner here. Another little, oh, little squished leg raptor here. Oh, poor guy. Eleven over here. Lystrosaurus. Ooh, this might be, I don't know if that's the same paint job or not. It's the other one. Back over here for number twelve. Baryonyx, yes, I will take this in every color scheme imaginable. Beautiful. Thirteen up here. We're just butchering this box. Oh my god. <laughs> the leg is completely upside down. Oh, that's horrible. This already had trouble standing. Well, so much for that. 14 over here. Tiny Dilophosaurus. Oh, nice. That's cool. Alright, it looks like 15 is this big middle one here. Ooh, want it on. Number 16. Let's get more, more fence pieces. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool, like a, a gate. Oh, it's just the one, okay, interesting. 17, same Yanchonosaurus. 18 up top, another little squished raptor. 19 over here, same Triceratops. 20 down here with some more fences. One, two, three, and four, almost there. 21 up the top. The Gallimimus, are your legs okay? Yeah, for the most part. 22. There, this good old T-Rex. Much darker paint job. All right, 23. Almost there. Parasaurolophus, which is <laughs> really squished. Oh, boy. This is, this is not looking good. Finally, 24. Interesting, why is that perforated? What? 
It's perforated in the middle here for some reason. Oh, that's cool. I like how it's... Oh, and the doors can move. And it's the Jurassic Park gate, not Jurassic World. Interesting. All right. Well, ooh, you can kind of see if I peel this all back. So if you slide this out and take out the plastic tray, you've got this cool display base with the footprints. Neat. Also has a little list of what all is in it. And ironically, it tells you how to open the package, <laughs> even though this is inside the package. That's helpful. And then how to put the uh, fence together. Yeah, these are not the most stable of Jurassic figures. I'm surprised that some of them are still standing, uh, but the ones who are laying down, that's not shocking to me. Even though some of these have absolutely massive feet, the fact that they're cast in this softer rubber, the, the size of the feet doesn't matter because the soft rubber of the legs aren't strong enough to support the rest of the body. But if you collect the Disney Dorables, I found that the pegs on those bases are the perfect size for the peg holes in these. These JP gates are also rad as hell. They're nice and stable and clip together pretty easily. I'm pleasantly surprised that not only is the main gate painted, but the doors also open and close and lock into place in the middle. The playability is amazing, and yeah, I know I'm a grown-ass man, but this gives you so many display options. The guard tower has a nice flat top to it too, where figures can stand as well. This is great! Now unlike the Owen, this little dude has no articulation, and he does not look too happy about it. This whole set is really cool. I know there's going to be a lot of overlap with the blind boxes, the on-the-go sets, and the other mini play sets, but I'm totally fine with that because I love multiple variants of minifigures. Some of these figures, like the Triceratops, Pteranodon, Stegosaurus, and Lystrosaurus, are the exact same ones as in the first wave of the blind boxes. Others actually have some slight differences in paint jobs. The Yongshuanosaurus has a darker brown color along its back, the Gallimimus is missing the paint on the belly, and the Iguanodon has the whole face sprayed instead of just the top of the head, but that last one could just be QC issues. Then we have some other undersized ones that we, or at least I, haven't seen yet. All of these, except for the Sukumimus, are missing their articulation that their larger blind bag counterparts have. I love minifigures, and I love when they're in scale, so I'd happily take those over articulation any day. Final thoughts! You are easily getting your money's worth on this set. I love this set, and I'm actually tempted to get a second one for more fence pieces and some duplicate minis to repaint, and hopefully some Gallimimus minis that don't have messed up legs. Though I will hold off on buying more until you all get a chance to grab a set first. In the meantime, good luck on your hunt, thanks for subscribing, and please drink responsibly. Don't forget to stop back here on Thursday for another one of my drink recipes, and in the meantime, you can check out the Martini Shop blog for their amber egg recipe as well.